Hi, Tui. I just got back from the Andover Library, <laughs> and I got lots of books so I can read to you guys every day. There might be some special appearances by my dog or some members of my family. So today we're going to read this book called Bugs from Head to Tail. It's written by Stacy Roderick, and it's illustrated, which means they are the artists who did the pictures, by Wanchai Moira. Here's the title page, Bugs from Head to Tail. What bug has a head like this? A rhinoceros beetle. One look at the horn jutting out of the male's rhinoceros beetle's head and it's easy to see how it got its name. The male uses its rhino-like horn for fighting other males and for pushing through leafy litter on the ground to escape danger. In fact, this super strong creature can use its fierce looking horn to lift up to 850 times its own weight. What bug has antennae like this? A luna moth. The luna moth uses its two feathery looking antennae for finding its way and for smelling. The male luna moth's antennae are wider bushier and more sensitive than the females. This helps the male smell the special chemicals called pheromones that the female sends out when it's time to reproduce or have babies. What bug has eyes like this? A grasshopper. A grasshopper's two large compound eyes are easy to spot but look closer. In between, there are also three much smaller, simple eyes. The bulging compound, compound eyes are made up of thousands of tiny lenses, each one sitting at a slightly different angle. This allows the grasshopper to see a wide area without having to turn its head. That's pretty cool. Its simple eyes have one lens each, just like human eyes, and are used for sensing light. Pretty cool. What bug has a body like this? I bet you guys all know. A ladybug. This brightly colored beetle can have anywhere from two to 20 spots, depending on which species or type of ladybug it is. A ladybug has a set of tough outer wings that act like a suit of armor to protect its soft body. These wings are part of the ladybug's exoskeleton, we know that word, or outside skeleton. A second set of wings for flying is tucked underneath. What bug has wings like this? A monarch butterfly. Thousands of tiny overlapping scales make up the orange and black markings on the monarch's wings. This pattern isn't just beautiful, it's also a warning to stay away. The monarch butterfly tastes awful to would-be predators or animals that want to eat it. That's because during its caterpillar stage, before it turns into a butterfly, the monarch feeds only on milkweed. These plants contain toxins or poisons that stay in the butterfly's body its entire life. You wouldn't want to eat it. What bug has hair like this? A tarantula. Even though most people don't think of bugs as hairy animals, lots of them are. In fact, the tarantula spider is known for being very hairy. Many tarantula species have thick, wiry bristles that act as protection. The special prickly hairs fall out very easily and are painful when they get into a predator's eyes or mouth. These tarantulas can even use their hind legs, their back legs, to flick hair from their bellies at an attacker. It's pretty cool. What bug has legs like this? A millipede. That's what we saw when we went to the Harvard Museum. You guys got to touch it. 
The millipede belongs to a group of bugs whose name means many legs. A millipede's long body is protected by a strong exoskeleton made up of segments or sections. Each segment has two pairs of legs. So each part of the body has two pairs of legs, which means four legs altogether. And altogether, a millipede might have up to 750 legs. But even with all these legs, the millipede isn't very fast. It is very good at using its many legs to burrow or dig into the ground though. What bug has a tail like this? None. A true tail grows out of an animal's spine and no bug has a spine. What might look like a tail on this dragonfly is actually a very long, thin abdomen, the body part that contains its stomach and other important organs. A dragonfly's abdomen is made up of 10 segments and can move up and down, which is why it's some kind, sometimes confused for a, wag, a wagging tail. Here are some other awesome bugs. Let's see, this guy is an aphid. We read about him in ELA. It says the aphid has long mouth parts for sucking juice from plants. And here we have the leaf cutter ant has elbowed or bent antennae. The jumping spider has four pairs of eyes, a stick insect. Its body is perfect for hiding among plants and trees. So I'll show you guys a little closer. I'll read about this guy. A bumblebee collects pollen using the hair on its legs. The spots on an owl butterfly's wings look like a pygmy owl's eyes. And down here, praying mantis, it says these praying mantis has small hooks on its front legs for trapping food. And then down here in the yellow, it says a bit more about bugs. The creatures we call bugs in this book book all belong to a very large group of animals with the scientific name anthropod. Anthropods are invertebrates. They have exoskeletons and jointed legs. Anthropods include smaller groups of animals such as insects, aphid, uh, arachnids, and myropods. One way to tell these groups apart is by counting their legs. Insects have six legs, arachnids have eight legs, so spiders, and myropods have more than eight legs, so like a millipede. The end. Check back tomorrow for another read aloud. Bye!